Matthew Sheck, 306 West 9th Street. Um, I'm opposed to the ordinance, the proposed ordinance. Uh, first of all, I want to thank this commission and hope everybody has a pleasant evening this evening. But uh, I've been on the road all day, medical emergency, so I appreciate being able to speak uh, at the beginning of this. Um, in a letter from the HRC to Ben Bifoss, the city manager, the HRC, uh, and I was a former member of the Human Rights Commission, uh, references under present law, it's in the ordinance summary, and non-discrimination ordinance. Um, but it doesn't really give any citing of what law they're talking about. Is this a civil rights law? Is this a previous city ordinance that uh, transpires? Is it state law? Um, if you could, you could correct that. If the uh, Human Rights Commission means civil rights law, they should so state and give the reference of that section of civil rights law. And one of my major concerns about this is that even though in parts of this proposed ordinance it, referen it references uh, homosexuals or that particular class of people um, in the sense of um, that it has a coloring of sense of group rights and that's why and even though their language says as individuals it's still the coloring of law is group rights law and um, my experience with group rights law has has been like this um, I don't know if anybody here has ever been discriminated in the past for maybe d turned down for a job um, I have too, believe it or not even though I don't look well I don't pass the, the normal criteria, I guess. But when I first moved to Traverse City, uh, I tried to getting a job here. I couldn't get a job. I went to all the major big uh, utility companies. And the reason that I was turned down, they said, is that you're not black, you're not Indian, and you're not a female. The last place I went to said, send your wife down. Now, where that came from was is that the federal government trying to, I guess, in their sense, correct past perceived injustices against those group rights of people, they went out of their way and created newer problems for people. You know, people that uh, were uh, economically dislocated like myself at that particular time. Um, in the intent and purposes, purpose construction paragraph of the proposed ordinance, we find C, nothing in this ordinance shall require preferential treatment of any person or group on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, yet, Mr. Marshall Persky, and I don't know him, he's, a, I think he's the head of the uh, Human Rights Commission, I think he's probably a very good gentleman, but in that radio interview, he referenced a, spe a special protection ordinance which belies the preferential treatment outlined in C. So, again, other examples could be under exceptions E of this proposed ordinance, we find the following practices shall not be violations of this, this ordinance. In E, we find to engage in a bona fide effort to establish an affirmative action program to improve opportunity for employment consistent with ap applicable state and federal law. This statement directly violates the Michigan Civil Rights Initiative that was passed into law and banned the practice of affirmative action and was supported by the majority of Michigan voters. So this ordinance has so many trails that lead off of it. What is going to happen later on and how are these... Uh, references that don't, that don't seem to have any bearing on it, how are they going to be determined later on? Finally, the ordinance is misleading and deceptive. It makes statements about discrimination toward one class of people group that is surrounded by other people groups, those other people groups as I already mentioned, those special, in civil rights laws we refer to as special rights group, and they are the same, in, as if they are the same in historical evidence. They are not. The act of discrimination that this proposed ordinance avers places upon those so charged with the un-American legal position of proving their innocence. And to me, it's, it looks more like a solution looking for a problem. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shack.